The Fifth Sunday in Easter, Year C, from the Book of Revelation. The first things have passed away. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our readings for today look at what happens to us when God turns everything we thought we knew about how things are done upside down. Jesus describes the mutual indwelling of God and a humanity long accustomed to thinking of itself as separate. Me and you and you and me and all this glory within both of us and both of us within the glory. And Jesus is saying this at the Last Supper so the disciples don't have time to wrap their heads around all that, what with this whole Jesus being crucified thing. So in the book of Acts, we see them having to work it out on the go, as it were. So here's Peter trying to explain why he suddenly thinks it's okay to hang out and even eat with Gentiles. Peter has had this vision, right, in which God lowers a food offering to Peter instead of Peter lifting up a food offering to God. And the food being offered is all kinds of critters that Jews are not supposed to eat. We don't do it that way, Peter tries to explain in that funny or not so funny way we humans have of trying to explain things to God. And God, yet again, has to remind us that it's God who declares what is clean and what is profane. Our psalm and our passage from Revelation envision a time when all the protective barriers have been removed from between species, from between orders of creation, even between heaven and earth. The home of God is among mortals, says the voice from the throne, in a wedding feast, that ultimate transformation of who is us and who is them, as God makes all things new. As we approach Ascension Tide and Pentecost, shifting our attention from sheer astonishment and joy at being alive in Christ's resurrection to the now only partial nature of that transformation in the spirit, let us look around us in wonder at what God has made clean through the power of that resurrection. And let us glorify all of God's creation and let us glorify God in that creation. In the name of that same God, even the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.